ChatGPT said, Patricia Churchland has spent her career bridging the seemingly irreconcilable gap between the mind and the brain. Born in 1943 in British Columbia, she was raised on a farm where the practical demands of rural life instilled in her a no-nonsense attitude and an early curiosity about how things work. Her intellectual journey took her from the University of British Columbia to Oxford as a Woodrow Wilson Fellow and ultimately to the University of California, San Diego, where she became a trailblazer in the field of neurophilosophy, a domain she helped define. Churchland's groundbreaking work began with a simple but radical premise. If the mind arises from the brain, then philosophy of mind must be informed by neuroscience. This view stood in stark contrast to the traditional approach of philosophers who often regarded the brain as irrelevant to discussions of consciousness, morality and the self. In her seminal 1986 book, Neurophilosophy, Toward a Unified Science of the Mind-Brain, she argued that philosophical problems about the mind, like free will, consciousness and the nature of self, can and should be addressed using the empirical findings of brain science. The book was both celebrated and controversial, drawing fierce critiques from philosophers and admiration from neuroscientists, including Francis Crick, co-discoverer of the DNA double helix. Churchland's work was not just theoretical, she collaborated extensively with neuroscientists, including her husband, Paul Churchland, and incorporated cutting-edge research into her philosophical analysis. Her insistence on getting one's hands dirty with the data made her an unusual figure in philosophy, a thinker who moved comfortably between lab meetings and seminars. She saw no shame in revising or even discarding philosophical positions that were contradicted by empirical evidence. Over the years, her work expanded into moral psychology, particularly the biological roots of ethics. In Brain Trust, What Neuroscience Tells Us About Morality, 2011, she proposed that our moral behavior is deeply rooted in brain mechanisms shaped by evolution, particularly those related to attachment and social bonding. Rather than deriving morality from abstract principles, she traced it to oxytocin, the vagus nerve, and other neurochemical and anatomical systems. This view emphasized the evolutionary continuity between humans and animals, challenging notions of human moral exceptionalism. Patricia Churchland's legacy is that of a philosophical heretic and pioneer. She brought the brain into philosophy, not as a metaphor, but as a foundational subject of study.